channel, I have a beautiful special guest with me today. You guys have probably seen her like on E! News or doing Jesse James Decker's makeup or just being a celebrity makeup artist to the stars. This is Jess. Jess Southern is her Instagram name. She has a YouTube channel too that she's starting to post more on. And I thought, what a better person to do a ride or die makeup tag with because you have never seen somebody do makeup like this girl and she's got a lot of different products. So I just thought, why not do a ride or die makeup tag with my friend Jess? So let's do it. You guys want to do to see our tried and true ultimate faves. Keep watching. <laughs> All right. So let's start with skincare. So mm -hmm. you're like a skincare nut. Yes, I am. Right? If you could see her skin, you would see that it is really <laughs> paid off in her life. <laughs> you know what? Oh, this What's is your like. your favorite? I actually really love the clean and clear, the like morning mm -hmm. burst from really? the drugstore. It's like the only drugstore product that I've used tried and true all the way through. I also like really, really love the clay to po, like the gentle mm -hmm. foaming cleanser. But um, but yeah, I stick with that clean and clear actually for like in that wild. <laughs> I would never believe it because I, I haven't even tried it. See, mine is the IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. Okay, so is it medical grade? It it is not. I know it sounds it sounds that so sounds like medical. you know medical, <laughs> and it's not. It's so good. Like your skin, it's clean and it is really? great for people with acne. Like if you have acne skin, it like it dries it up without over drying your skin, and that's really? what I like. It keeps the hydration, but let's shut on back. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. Okay. I really love, so my ride or die moisturizer that I always go back to is this Revive, and it is the retexturizing hydrator because I feel like retexturizing skin is something that's so important when you wear a lot of makeup because the mm -hmm. texture of your skin has to be like great underneath. It's got to be great because you can put mm -hmm. all them and that's why I like skincare actually maybe more than I do makeup because you can like pile on makeup but if your skin is not completely like in good shape and you don't take care yeah. of it, it doesn't matter what you do. That's a good point. My favorite moisturizer that I will never go without, it's technically, it's not even a moisturizer. What the heck? Ooh, baby. I love this tub. <laughs> like an Egyptian magic, it says on the front of this it tub. It <laughs> is so good. It is It is a tub. But this is the thing. Are I you busy? No. I, I cannot. <laughs> it's just some lard thrown in there. What Egyptians the? made it. Who knows? But this is, I, when I tell you, this is the, the one product, if oh. I had to keep with me at all times, it would be this. Like, I actually oh, go fine. psycho. I go like Norman Bates crazy when I don't have <laughs> this stuff. It's so good. Okay, now where do you even get that from? You have to like, order it from Amazon. It's like $18. So anybody can afford it. That's also a great thing. Yeah. That it's very affordable. But if you have a bruise, it gets rid of a bruise. If it's great, it helps get rid of a scrape. It cures dry skin. And if, even if you're oily, you put it on like twice a week. It changes your skin. The ancient Egyptian secret magical cream. That is actually <laughs> what it says. That wasn't me making it up. Oh, and it says oh. blessings unto you. And I heard oh, about this. You get blessings. You get blessings. blessings. <laughs> oh, no, but I found this through Kate Hudson. And really? let's just be honest. I mean, her I'm not friends with Kate Hudson. I just want to do that as a disclaimer. <laughs> but <laughs> her skin is incredible. And she bathes in this stuff. Really? Okay. Bathes in it. That's a great so, yeah, tip. I love her. So I'm gonna do a primer next. So you mm -hmm. don't use a lot of primer. I don't, but I do have like my my primer. Okay, your primer. primer. So primer. my <laughs> primer that I really love that I always go back to is this Professional by Benefit. I feel like I have really large pores. Mm -hmm. So when I'm priming my skin, that's what I'm wanting to. That's what I'm wanting to get rid of the most. And whenever I use this, I press it into my pores and. I just feel like this works really well for the issues that I have. Yeah. No, and anytime you press it in, mm -hmm. it helps cover it. Because when you all like clog those pores right all over your face, it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Ooh, okay. that. Um, mine is Becca. I love that. I use it all the time. I think I bathe in every one of my products. Because <laughs> it's it's just like dewy, illuminating. If you have oily skin, you're going to want to use that one. Dry skin, you're going to want to use the Shimmering Skin Perfector. I like Pearl. If you have darker skin, Opal, Girl. Moonstone, Champagne Pop. Yeah, I love yeah. the Champagne Pop and the Moonstone. But so I great. always notice, so I started following Jess because I was like, 
her makeup is so dewy and flawless and glowy, and it looks like <laughs> like in real life, it's no, it's glowy and luminous and lovely. She looks like a glowing bride at all times. <laughs> Next, foundation. So my Estee Lauder Double Wear, I wear the shade Ivory Beige, ride or die forever. It's so. I'll good. go back and forth. Like I'll use Armani if I want to. I'll look. <laughs> This is my ride or die. Well, that one lasts forever. Yeah. Like, it that's does. why I like that one. Because mm -hmm. I use that one too and I love it. The one that I can't live without, oh my God. There's like, I love this one that you're about to show. <laughs> um, it's Kogan Doe. I've used their products, I think, for like, again, like five years. And I'm obsessed. This one's their um, high definition moisture foundation. Okay. And they also have an aqua foundation, which is a little bit less coverage and amazing. So and it's like face paint, like from the drag it's queen so store. It's so good. But like, it's... Kogan Doe. Kogendo. Kogendo? Kogendo. <laughs> but it is so incredible. I, I, I can't live without it. It's okay. what I used um, on my wedding day. You did? It was that special. Let's go to concealer. <laughs> so I die for always the MAC Pro Conceal. Like, ride or die, I always use it. I put it on my little like glass tray and I mix up the colors. I just think that it's great on young or old. It's great. It's just, ugh, I just love it. But lately, I've really been loving the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I really, really love it. Well, it's great coverage. Sure it's amazing. Yeah. So this is my ride or die, the Pro Conceal, but somebody's coming in on you. Go <laughs> tell <laughs> <it's> Pro Conceal. <laughs> okay. So I'm coming in hot. I know. I don't have my ride or die concealer with me because it's in my makeup kit because I use it on all my clients and it's amazing cosmetics. Oh, it's amazing. great coverage. It lasts forever. And yeah, great and you put it on with a brush, right? I put it on with a brush and just like go a little bit below and just kind of lift up a little bit. Yeah, cool. But yeah, and we're gonna show you guys how we use a lot of our ride or die products too in our everyday makeup thing. We'll use some of them in that. But anywho, okay, so now let's go into bronzer. So bronzer is one thing that I really like switch up. Mm -hmm. So I go through like a lot of phases with bronzers. I feel like, but right now. I'm really loving this Too Faced, and I do keep going back to it, so I, this is the only one I'm not sure what my ride or die is, but <laughs> this one's the closest to my ride or die. It's Too Faced Sun Bunny. But it's a good one. It's so, good one. I mean, I know, I feel like, I feel the same way. We had this conversation before, I feel mm -hmm. like bronzers are, you know, there's so many good ones, but I will say, I never am without this one in my kit. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, the Bobbi Brown, and it has to be... Bolly brown or yeah, Bolly brown. Let me see the color of this one because I it's so pretty. oh I love that so, color. Yeah, it's really pretty. So if I'm doing a cream contour, like a cream bronzer or something like that, I love the Bobby Brown. So this is actually her BBU mm -hmm. palette. I know and I love it. Like I'll let, if, there, if I'm gonna read a book, I'm gonna read this. <laughs> <laughs> so I read to read. I love it. So, halfway through. <laughs> I really love it because it's like her creamy concealers mixed with her like stick foundations and it's got all the shades. Um, my favorite cream bronzer is the Chanel. <gasps> I the Soleil de Tan. I love it. It's got like a nice little shimmer. It's easy to blend, but it's not like too orange. See? Mm -hmm. It's like a natural. I was tan. watching you do that on your skin and I, I that's one makeup. Usually, I know about the good, the good makeup that's <laughs> out there in the world. Like, I felt my way through all the makeup and I don't know. But that one, I hadn't come across yet, and I was like, what the You're going to buy it. You're yeah. going to buy it. That's some good stuff. It's good. good. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. Right or Die Blush is definitely Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury hasn't even been on the market for, what, like a year maybe? Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah barely. Yeah. And the, absolutely, the one I always go back to, these Swish and Pop blushers. So, Which is really embarrassing because... <laughs> Same thing. You know that it's a good blush <laughs> when both of us, it's our ride or die. Mm -hmm. And my color is First Love. That's it's a, a little good color. bit more natural. And I use it on my eyes, which I was telling you earlier. Like, I pop it on my eyes. I know, too. I love that. And you're going to show in our, when we do the, our everyday makeup looks, which are the looks that we're wearing right now, she put her blush on her eyes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a close look. I mean, if you're wearing like a, like a hot pink, you probably can't do it. <laughs> but at the same time, in I these got. tones, it's great, but yeah, yeah, Charlotte knows her blushes. She's she got knows. that swish and pop. She got that swish and pop blush. Yeah, swish and pop blush. <laughs> Let's do powders. So I set an under eye. Like I always set an under eye, and I use the Laura Mercier. This is my ride or die. Um, the Secret Brightening Powder. I used to use the Nars Crystal, mm -hmm. and then now I switch over to this, and I really like. I like, I like a finely milled powder, and then also translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier translucent because I can't get. I think that's ride or die makeup of ride or die makeup. No, it really is, and mm -hmm. it sucks because I'm gonna have to bring up my crystal powder. <laughs> Show them how 
Somebody loves that. you. Somebody loves you out there. <laughs> this is how much I've used it. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> love it. Don't worry. She still loves um, it. But I do love my Laura Mercier for my kit. I have it all yeah. the time. But for me personally, on myself, NARS Crystal Translucent is my ride or die. Yeah. 100%. Okay. 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 Highlighter. So I've mm -hmm. actually not been a highlighter, one of the highlighters of the world. <laughs> my favorite highlighter ride or die is the Becca <laughs> Opal. <laughs> it is the best highlighter. It's Becca the is the greatest highlighter. They're the they best. They really do. Mm -hmm. For like that dewy thing. Mm -hmm. um, as much as I love Becca, only because you did Becca, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And oh I'm going to do my Artist Couture. And my favorite color is Illuminati. It sounds so shady. <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati got it going on with the highlighters. Like, it is, oh, uh, it's Wait, so what is good. the brand? Artist Couture? Artist Couture. Where do you even find these brands? Online. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really impressed Online, with like, I lines just, you brought into my And it's their, di their Diamond Glow Powder. Diamond Glow. But that stuff, I can't live without it now. My ride of that brow pencil is definitely, okay, Anastasia Brow Wiz Taupe was my ride or die. And then just this week, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, the Definer, or whatever this one's called. It's the Definer, so it's just the ends shaped a little bit, but Anastasia Beverly Hills is definitely in Taupe, the shade, ride or die, hands down. Yeah, and see, like, mine... Ah, give it to me! <laughs> mine is, the, I like, actually, I use the brow powder, but I still use Taupe, and I still use Anastasia, um, absolutely amazing. She knows her brows. Let's mm -hmm. just she. Oh my gosh, she, she knows, knows her your brows. brows. Okay, so I really love to prime a lid. Which yeah. do you prime a lid? I do. On a I do. Lid? I didn't. I didn't today, but I do normally. So I love the Mac paint pots. I like the shade Painterly and Soft Ochre. Definitely my ride or die. See, well, my sure. my primers. I love. I'm like going old school. I love the Urban Decay, like super old school. But I oh, love yeah, I the like Frankie Rose. Um, the Frankie Rose eye primer. I really like because it lasts. Forever. Really? <laughs> it lasts. It so lasts long forever. I want it. <laughs> okay, so I've got my Z palette here, but I'm gonna talk about. So Anastasia Beverly Hills is hands down ride or die, and I typically will use one of these lighter colors, like these lighter shades. And I can't really pick a ride or die color because I do so many no. different looks. But Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows. Close, <laughs> close, close, guys. I die. Um, Charlotte them. Tilbury. These are the nocturnal eyes, and look, it is so. That is a beautiful pretty. shadow. Yeah, I love her shadows, like her cream shadows, her regular shadows. Oh. They're, just, they're so pretty. Wait, what's the shade that you're? This one is uh, the Huntress. Yeah. Liner. So I do like a winged liner. Sometimes I do a gel liner. Sometimes I, I really switch up liners a lot. But definitely my ride or die. And I've actually used this since high school. Last year, you see this? Like, I never really switched. Like, I'll ride waves and stuff, but the Bobbi Brown <laughs> Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. I love the best. it. I love it. <laughs> She's used it since high school, so high clearly school. <laughs> it is the best. <gasps> Mine, I I love a brown copper for an eyeliner, and this oh, is the Laura Mercier. I absolutely love it, and it's just their, their brown copper cold pencil, and I take this everywhere. everywhere. I love it. All right, so then let's move on to, I guess, lips. So um, I'm gonna share a ride or die lipstick and a ride or die lip gloss. So everyone always asks, like, what what is the best like red lipstick? What is the best? I think Bobbi Brown makes the best lipsticks, the best reds. It really depends on your skin tone, I think, though the shade. But Bobbi Brown is my ride or die lipstick, and then I actually really like this NYX Butter Gloss a lot for a gloss. Ah, oh, you would love it, especially because you like the nudes on that lip. I love but I do one. really like from nudes and like light shades. Charlotte Tilbury candy. This is pretty. Oh yeah, my it's like god, two dollar ninety nine cent. That is really pretty. No. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. So for my lipstick, granted. I'm oh. the, okay. This is the thing. I have one for myself that is ride or die, and it's vanilla suede. That's I'm a good one. I mean, hey, I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. However, this color, and I'm gonna do a disclaimer because I know what's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna go out and buy this and be like, I look like I have chalk on my lips. <laughs> you cannot rub it. You have to dab it. And yeah, vanilla suede is gonna be too light for most people, so probably they need to go with blush nude. And you have that one too, right? I have that one too. This one's my ride or die. I am going to say that, but I don't want anybody saying that they have chalky lips because I told them vanilla suede. So. They ain't going to say that. They understand. Yes, they will. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> and then my ride or die lip gloss. Oh, I love this shade. Isn't it so pretty? I yeah. Know. This one bare is bare minerals. minerals. Yes. Oh, Far I out. I like bare minerals. Oh my god. Well, this gloss is just amazing. But that looks real nice though. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it <laughs> it. Okay, but, so then do you set, I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Do you set, because you live in the Florida heat. Yes. So you set your makeup. Barely, because you know I love that Florida glow. <laughs> <laughs> you got that Florida glow out all the time. She got that Florida glow in Nashville, Tennessee right now. I love that Florida glow. I'm like, heat me up, baby. I love it. Because <laughs> I like you. I, I'm, I'll go back and forth. Only when it's like going to be like, huh? It's right. excruciatingly hot. And I like the Urban Decay setting spray. Uh huh. But which one do you See, like? See, I like the 7-7 seven, seven Cosmetics uh, setting what? spray. She's got all seven, these brands. Seven, seven. I know. So, it's awesome. so good. It gives you a nice, like, diffused uh, really? spritz. It's so pretty. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I felt like, like we really needed to do a video where we show our absolute faves. And I wanted to bring in yes. Jess just to do that also with me because she has some different faves. Because you guys see my faves a lot on my channel. So I love all these different things you brought in. You better believe them, especially when you buy this Egyptian <laughs> blessings for the skin. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. And I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And come back real soon. We're going to be doing more videos together. Our everyday makeup is next. <laughs>